Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, friends, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 24th day of September 2021, and our topic for today is Follow Good Leadership. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we are grateful for this timeless opportunity to gather before you again. Thank you for your word that you feed us with daily. Lord, we ask today that you would speak directly to us. Let it be a word for everyone. And even as we learn, we ask that grace be supplied for obedience in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1 reads, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Philippians chapter 3, from verse 14 to 17. Philippians 3, verse 14 to 17 reads, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so, as ye have us for an example. God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the body of our devotional today, our Father and the Lord tells us that the Bible's instruction to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, simply means to carefully research and meditate upon the lives of those who obtained God's approval. Learn those things they did that earned them God's approval. In today's text, we read of Paul an outstanding apostle of Jesus Christ. He strove to reach the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The following are the things he did to attain this goal. 1. He forsook the worldly glory and approval to gain the approval of God through the righteousness that can only be found in Christ. 2. He sought to know more of Jesus Christ in order to do his will. He was never satisfied with a life of mediocrity. The apostle made bold to say in Philippians 3 verse 17, Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Beloved, any church leader who cannot say what Paul said above is not worth following. Show me your leader and I will tell you who you are. I will even tell you how far you can go in the Christian journey. When I gave my life to Christ, I was blessed with a leader who was heaven bound. That was my late father in the Lord, the founder of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Anytime I looked at him, I saw the glory of God and the image of Jesus Christ in him and knew if I could follow his footsteps, I would make it in my Christian walk. He was completely transparent a lover of the cross of his master and savior. He did not only teach, but practiced what he taught to the latter. Paul, the apostle, wrote in Galatians 1 verse 8 to 9, But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received, let him be accursed. It is necessary for Christians to prove all things and hold fast that which is good, according to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21. We are to abstain from all appearances of evil. I advise you to seek out genuine teachers of the word of God and learn from them because only the truth and nothing but the truth can set you free from the errors of the end times. Jesus Christ is the truth. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
our topic for today, which says follow good leadership, has become very important in the times that we are. Because like we know, scripture tells us that in the last days, there would be so many deceivers. We would have seducing and lying spirits at work. It is needless to say that today, this has become very true. We must therefore be very careful and insist by the help of the Spirit of God that we follow good leadership because a head that is bad would definitely lead the body to destruction. Our Father in the Lord in today's devotional emphasizes the need to carefully research and meditate upon the lives of those who have obtained God's approval so that we too can learn those things which they did that earned them God's approval. Apostle Paul is one example to be reckoned with, an outstanding apostle. He strove to reach the mark of the prize of the high calling. And we learn in our devotional that there are two things which he did to attain this goal. The first was that he forsook the worldly glory and approval so that he may gain the approval of God. He also sought to know more of Jesus Christ in order to do his will. This tells us expressly as believers also that we must model in our own lives the genuine desire to forsake all kinds of glory and approval that we can get from men so that we may get God's own approval because that is what really matters. We can also desire just like Apostle Paul to know more about Jesus, to desire to do his will. The decision of who becomes our leader should not be done in haste. It should be done with care and a listening ear to the Spirit of God. This is because just like our Father and the Lord said today, it is possible to tell how far you can go even in your Christian journey by the kind of leader that you have. Hebrews 6 verse 12 tells us that Ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. In our memory verse today, Apostle Paul was saying, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. We can deduce from this that our ultimate example should be Christ. And whomever we are learning from, who does not model Christ is a wrong example. It is so sad that today in church we find many preachers who can even pass as comedians. A man cannot give what he does not have. We must also be very careful about the kind of doctrines that we learn. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 to 9, Apostle Paul was warning the believers there to be careful of any other gospel that would come even if it was going to be preached by they the apostles themselves or by an angel from heaven. This is why believers must be like the Berean Christians. They must be sound in their knowledge of the word of God and trust the spirit of God also for understanding. At this point, I would like to add also that we have a whole lot of examples from scripture. This is one of the surest ways to get good examples. We have the story of the lives of men from whom we can learn from. We can also see the promises of God made available to us there. Romans 15 verse 4 tells us that for whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. We have the stories of our fathers of faith and great patriarchs whose stories we can learn a great deal from. We trust God that he will give us leaders and pastors after his own heart, just like he has promised us in scripture in Jesus' name. At this point, we'll bow our heads and pray with say, Father, Please reveal yourself to me afresh through your Son and your appointed leader over my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask that he will reveal himself. Also ask that that appointed leader over your life would be a mighty instrument of God. Let the oil on their heads never run out. Pray for as many leaders as God has appointed over your life, that in the name of Jesus the grace, the wisdom to operate, let them find it in abundance in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you for reawakening us to the importance of good leaders. We ask that they would never be lacking in our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray for them also today that you would grant them the grace also to seek you out of a pure and a sincere heart. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have our Bible in one year reading plan for today from the book of Proverbs chapter 20 to chapter 21. We would also like to use this medium to appreciate God's gift of a good leader in the redeemed Christian Church of God. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God and the author of the Open Heavens devotional that daily blesses us. It is our prayer that God continues to uphold him, 
even as he also follows Christ in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you for joining us today. We are glad and excited to have you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. You can also do well to bless someone with this today by sharing with them. Have a great and impactful day ahead in Jesus' name. Amen and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.